You know, honestly, like I felt like we were jogging and then I went over that barrier and somehow I stalled going over it and I hit it and just flipped over the top. So I don't really know what happened. That's part of the event and especially when it's that crowded. Well, despite that, your time was still faster than the <laughs> first heat. Yeah, so. I was definitely like, I knew I needed to obviously get back with the pack because we couldn't get everybody from the heat in. But I was aware of the 953 and so you kind of just... I just kept that in the back of my head. Once I was in the top, I don't know, eight or nine, it was like, there's just no reason. Like, I don't know. After stuff like that happens, you feel horrible. And I remember that happening at the Olympic trials. Like, when I fell, like, I got up, went to the front, took charge, and then I remember the last lap just feeling so bad because I just, you kind of like exhaust all that. So. Just that bolt of adrenaline that sort of yeah. runs through you when that happens? Yeah. So it sounds like you knew you were pretty fit coming in, setting some like workout PRs and that yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, training's been going really well. Um, I haven't done quite as much steeple work as I would have liked. Just I had surgery seven months ago, basically to this week um, on my ankle. I sustained an injury last year at Pre that I chose not to image because I wanted to run the season. Um, I was given the option to. So in my head it was an ankle sprain. I thought the time off in the fall would address it, and then it didn't, it re-flared up just from running, so we imaged it and realized it was something that wasn't gonna heal on its own. Kind of was given a few options of treatment, and I basically went with the option that was gonna set me best up for next year, because not having surgery probably would have had me at 90% of myself for however long, and I just said, hey, like, I've been to the Olympics twice, I've medaled, like I'm not trying to just make it, like I want to be there at my best. So, had surgery in December, took six full weeks off of running, and then didn't get back to training every day until sometime mid-March. Um, it ended up being honestly the biggest blessing in disguise, just, I got COVID at the World Championships last year and then tried to keep running the season. And then, again, took my, decided to call it after it wasn't going well, took my break, thought it was gonna be enough, and then ended up with kind of a long-term struggle all fall from COVID. So you went through a lot of chaos last year. You had to make yeah. some changes in your diet as well? Yeah, yeah, I would say 2022 was probably, starting kind of in actually December of 2021 with the passing of my college coach until basically I had surgery were probably some of the hardest 12 months of my life. Um, I sort of just got hit with one thing after another and the beginning of it I was actually training so well because I think I start, tried to manage the grief through training and basically got myself into a giant hole while like unknowingly having some health struggles. So um, yeah, I mean the last five months have been pulling myself out of <laughs> all of last year. Given all that, how did you feel today? I felt okay, yeah. You know, I think that there were some nerves. It's not ideal to come in and have this be your first steeple of the season, but it was what made the most sense. Um, I've been confirmed for Florence, but we opted to not race. Um, I did some water jumps and my ankle just wasn't ready. So, but it's doing a lot better now. We've really addressed so much in the gym and like I said, like, I'm training, I would say better at this point than I was last year. Um, pretty good at my flat training. Like it was like, we did a hard 1K and I did, I was running stuff I haven't seen myself do since 2021. So I think it's coming together. There's just a lot of trust that has to come back whenever you kind of lose trust in your body for a long time. As you look to Paris 2024, how hard is it to make those decisions while still being present within this season? It's really challenging because, you know, like I look at it and I'm like, I'm, I'm in my prime. Like, I don't want to potentially give up, you know, Diamond Leagues or, you know, be at these championships, you know, not as ready as I'm used to being. But, you know, I want to take a step back and say, okay, what are my, what are my biggest goals and how do we prioritize that? And that's definitely getting back to the Olympic Games um, to try and get back on the podium. You know, I came really close to gold two years ago and so that's still in the back of my head and you know I have a sub nine to my name so I know I can keep contending for that. And a lot of changes with your group moving yeah. and your training partners and that so it's been a lot of chaos. Yeah it really has and so you know I think the whole fall I wasn't able to really kind of adjust to everything here as well as um, I would have liked given like dealing with so much personally but the spring's been a lot better my husband did finally move down 
Um, we brought our cat down, so obviously that makes me really happy. So yeah, it, it's definitely been going better since the spring. But yeah, changes are hard, particularly when you have a partner in this sport as well. It's like no matter where you move, like there has to be a job market. So it's been a really big challenge for us. It's like, you know, how do we find stability here when it might not be a super permanent thing, given that you know, for him long term, it's probably not somewhere that will be the best for us. But, you know, we're pretty committed to my running right now. And so taking it year by year, it's kind of crazy. I turned 30 this year and I'm like, how the heck did that happen? So did you spend time at altitude this season? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so we just I just came down from Park City yesterday. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that's been really nice. Like, no time to go back in between. <laughs> no. No time to go back, so, um, and we'll head back, yeah, next week, so that's been really nice. Like, I love it up there. Um, yeah. Well, good luck in the final. Thank you. Good luck.